We finally got some new details on what that really cool Christmas truck is going to be in Grand Theft Auto Online. We'll be talking about all of that in this video today and a whole lot more. So when the Chop Shop DLC arrived, one of the things that players ended up finding immediately was this really cool Christmas semi-truck. And Rockstar has actually parodied this off of the real-life Coca-Cola Christmas truck. It's like the E-Cola version. It's extremely cool. And where we last left off, we were all very excited about this truck, but we didn't know how we were going to end up purchasing it, if it was going to be available to us, or how Rockstar was going to utilize it. Well, some more information has been found, and this is apparently the Happy Holidays Hauler. And this is how it's going to work. It is going to be a free mode random event, and as you guys can see here in this footage, you'll actually see it appear on the minimap. It's this blue semi-truck icon. And it also says the Happy Holidays Hauler has begun driving around Los Santos, dropping festive presents, collect any left behind to earn rewards. And you guys can see there, it starts blinking on the map. It's driving away. And then randomly, you just see sort of a present pop out of the back. And it will say the Happy Holidays Hauler has dropped a present. Collecting one may unlock a unique reward. And if you end up grabbing it, you can see that that one was 1,000 RP, $9,450 and some snacks. And apparently it also has the ability to drop ammo and there's two exclusive festive sweaters, the E. Cola festive sweater and the Sprunk festive sweater. And the only other requirement is there must be at least two players in the session in order for it to spawn. So it doesn't matter if it's invite only, friends or public session, there just needs to be two of you guys in there for this thing to spawn. And it actually looks really good at night too, because it has sort of these lights on the side that kind of make it glow. And you can see this is when it of course is snowing. So I can only imagine that it's going to arrive when the snow is here closer to the festive holiday season. And when it's about to drop a present, you can kind of tell because the back doors end up opening and there's some like green smoke that pops out. And it doesn't even look like you have to be out of your vehicle in order to get it. You can just drive behind it and you can grab the item you want. And you can see that one was one of the exclusive items, the E. Cola festive sweater. So this is an extremely cool random event. I love that Rockstar are doing stuff like this for the Christmas, New Year's holiday season. The only thing I'm a little bit sad about is the fact that we can't actually own this vehicle for ourselves. You can't stop it, you can't drive it, you can't store it. It is a random event. At least it's giving away free gifts. I guess we can say it's Santa Claus in a way, dropping us off presents here in GTA Online for the holiday season. But it is a little bit sad that we aren't able to drive the vehicle. Now, there's also a few more Christmas hats that are arriving this year that are new from the Chop Shop DLC. You can see this green festive tree hat right here, which looks a little bit silly. And then you have the white festive reindeer hat, which looks just as silly as well, where you've got this basically reindeer with Rudolph the Red Nose wearing a hat on a hat on your head. It's really fun. I love this sort of time of year and all the things that Rockstar add in GTA Online. Now, since we're on the subject of drip feed and things that will likely arrive over the next couple of weeks and months, let's also talk about more robberies that are going to be introduced to the chop shop. So as things currently stand, we have three robberies in game, the cargo ship robbery, the gangbanger robbery, and the Duggan robbery. Well, Rockstar has two robberies that are left over in the drip feed. That is the podium robbery and what is called the McTony robbery. And to give you guys a better idea on what those actually are, the podium one involves the diamond casino and resort and the mctony one is apparently the submarine robbery now there's also a cool feature that looks like it is tied to the podium robbery and that is the option to keep the car for yourself right now it's currently disabled which means in the future rockstar could enable it so my best guess is that this is kept for the podium robbery this would be another way to claim the podium vehicle as a personal vehicle other than winning it via the lucky wheel. So I'll keep you guys posted when Rockstar decide to enable that feature, but it looks like that is tied to one of the robberies that's going to be coming throughout the drip feed. Now, another thing that's going to be arriving in the next couple of weeks and months is animal photography. As you guys know, Rockstar introduced wildlife in this update. So now around Los Santos and its surrounding areas, you'll see all sorts of wildlife sprawling around. And there is a Apparently, a couple of challenges for animal photography. 
Dear resident, shoot animal photography is open for submissions. As you know, San Andreas has been placed in the bottom ranks of America's safest states, but the Los Santos Tourist Board has a plan, a portfolio of wildlife photography to prove how peaceful our home really is. So get out there and snap restful boars, tranquil mountain lions, and serene coyotes as they scavenge for scraps. Whatever the creature, they're all equally beautiful according to our policy. Send us your best shots today from everyone in the LS Tour Board family. So the wildlife challenge is cool on its own, but it's also a way in which you can unlock the Park Ranger SUV. This is a line of code from the game. In order to purchase the Park Ranger, photograph one animal as a part of the shoot animals photography. And then if you photograph 10 animals as a part of the shoot animals photography, you'll unlock the trade price for this vehicle too. And apparently there is an outfit that you can unlock for this entire thing as well called the Zoophilist. And it looks like this sort of Hawaiian like shirt with a bunch of different palm trees and animals on there. And last but not least, where I want to wrap up in this video today, and I don't know if this is connected to Christmas or not, it looks like there is a Yeti hunt that we're going to be able to do. We're going to finally be able to find Bigfoot in GTA Online. I don't know when this is going to be introduced, but you eventually get a text from Tanner. Hey, you a hunter? You better be, because there's something in those woods, and it ain't a bear. Trust me, damn thing nearly killed me once. They'll say you're crazy till you get its hide. Then you'll be laughing all the way to the bank. Investigate the Chiliad Wilderness question mark to search for clues of an unknown creature put it into its terror to earn a bonus reward so essentially what you have to do is find five clues one of them is a torn shirt the other is a bloody tent you'll also find some body parts a dead deer and then last but not least you'll find a car wreck and this will eventually lead you to the actual yeti fight where it says you have located all five clues return at night to continue searching this area for the unknown creature. And if you return at night, it will say the Yeti from the Chiliad Wilderness has come for you, defeat it to earn a unique reward. And I'll say it's pretty easy to defeat the Yeti who, and the reason I say this is might be for Christmas is he is white. And if you were able to defeat the Yeti, you get the Yeti outfit unlocked and added to your wardrobe, and you also get $50,000. But anyways, that right there is everything that Rockstar has planned over the next couple of weeks and months to celebrate Christmas, New Year's, and 2024 here in Grand Theft Auto Online. I'm excited to see everything that's coming in the festive surprise and the cool little mysteries they've decided to include in this update as well. Let me know what you are looking forward to the most as far as the unreleased content goes here in online in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You wanna stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.